So I've been experimenting with weathering these houses. I bought these HO kits, three houses under construction, which I had seen as a kid, but I had never really gotten into it. So I decided I wanted like the bricks to stand out as bricks instead of being all one thing. So I experimented. I'm using these markers. These are really good. And you can color in individual bricks. Makes it look very real. And then in order to get the pattern of the bricks in between, what I wind up doing is I take a little bit of this tester's paint. Um, this is the flat tan with a little bit of paint thinner. And I just make like my own special mix here. And then I take the brush and I touch it to various points and I just let the color bleed down into the bricks. And I was really surprised at how well this works. Um, but then you wind up with these, these kinds of splotches. But it occurred to me that really the splotches can be either left, because it is a house under construction, or what you do is you use the marker. Okay, and then I use one of these micro brushes. Where is uh, the micro brush? There we go. These micro brushes, these blue things, these are also uh, testers. Uh, but I'm sure there's lots of other ones out there. And you color individual bricks at the site of where the splotches are. So I'm just going to make my own little concoction here for a second, and I'm going to pause it. Let's see. Or maybe I can leave it. I have to put this down. And I'm working by myself here. No one filming. So let me just put this down for a second. Hold on a sec. So I've actually got, I've got a little bit left, and I can just kind of demonstrate how this works. Where you just kind of go like that, and I wet it down. I really don't have too much left. But I have enough. And then, hold on. You go to the rest of the house. As part of the house, I had also experimented just coloring, again, individual bricks. And I'm really surprised at how good this came out. Because I've seen these kits as a kid, and I had never really tried it. And there is a lot of detail, actually, in this. But then, you know, basically what you do, I'll see if I can capture this. Otherwise, you kind of have to take my word for it. Is that basically, and if too much solvent is in there, it leaves a bad effect on the brick. And if too little solvent is in there, then of course you don't get the bleeding. So, I think what I need to do is add just one or two more drops of solvent. Because this has been sitting here for a little while, so bear with me. I had to put the phone down for a second. But you just throw like a little one or two drops of the mineral spirits in there. That's the solvent for this. And then really stir it up. Stir it up good. And then again, it would help if somebody else was helping me to film this, because this is the first time I've attempted to do this. I'm not very good at it in terms of filming. You have to bear with me. But basically, you put this under. And I think about any minute now, I'm going to get called. Or something here. And I'm going to see if I can film this. Let's 